Hello, everybody. I'm Kristen. And I'm Rachel. And this is So I'm Watching Only Murders in the Building, Season 3, Episode 5. Ah, love. Uh, we're a little late this week. This week was a lot for both of us. Mm -hmm. Mercury is in the microwave. Yep. And we're not into it. Well, um, and there are six other planets. I don't want to hear about now the other seven. Ones. Now seven. Why? All of them have something to do with... Everyone's going through it right yeah. now. Pla Pluto, Saturn, There's Neptune, too many. and Uranus. Mercury, I don't remember the other ones, and then I think a seventh one just went retrograde today. So everything is being figured out from the bottom up. The most recent thing that it messed up was my ice cream order last night. Yeah, that was not a vibe. Sweet cream with- Ooh, I'm on the internet now. With only rainbow sprinkles? Yeah. Bullshit. Well, and since we're talking about Mercury retrograde, my laptop would not no. connect to the internet, and now it did. Okay. So, huzzah for us. Also, it was my birthday. and It was your birthday. Yeah. We've been hanging out and hangover and all that fun stuff. So Also, today, busy. we just finished all of Vanderpump Rules. I know. You guys, I had her go back from the beginning. It was incredible. And now she's hooked. And now we have a bottle of Vanderpump Rosé chilling in the freezer. Yes, we do. To celebrate the completion. Okay. <laughs> Back to this, the matter at hand. Yes. Um, this episode was full of dates. We, it was? Well, of sort of. Yeah. Charles didn't really go on a date, but his, it, his love story was, like, at the center of this. I have some issues with that, so I want to start with Mabel, I okay. think. First of all, she looked hot in this she episode. Did. Yep. That dress was beautiful. Her earrings were amazing. The double necklace was pretty good. And then when she, like, took off the coat, the tits were it was just great everything about it was great she looked amazing and so she was gonna go do a stakeout with tobert and i hate his name it's terrible i hate it i mean i don't know he's not really a bert so you can't really call him bert do you remember i don't think you were, watched it with us but it was like the second um those christmas movies that came on netflix with um kurt russell where he played santa oh, i don't know yeah. the christmas chronicles or something like that yeah I just spit literally everywhere <laughs> In the second one, it was, I think it was either Tyrese or, like, Tyson. Like, Tyson Beckford. Mm -hmm. Like, the supermodel, the, like, male supermodel, was, like, getting married to the wife, the or the mother of the kids. And his name, they had the, it was Bob. We're, I, we're out like, here, we're like, out here spelling names, like, Peyton. P A I T Y N. No. And we have like Kaylee. Sorry, it was Tyrese. Yeah. And, Bob. And like dumb things like that. That's not dumb. I'm sorry. If your name is that name, you, it's beautiful. Great for you. But why are we out here naming people Tobert and Bob? So, okay. And Mabel. I'm no, still dying I, on that hill. I I'm like, dying on that hill. I like Mabel. <laughs> and I think it suits her because she, we, as we discussed, she has the old lady energy. So mm -hmm. I think it suits. The character, oh, the character of Mabel. Another spelling of Peyton that I saw the other day. P-A-E-D-Y-N. So Peyton. 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 No. Well, that's like almost the demon name from Hered oh, so yeah, from like, Hereditary. Like, like, what is the name? Payman. Payman. Yeah. Payman. Okay. Regardless, it was Tyrese Gibson, who is like one of the most attractive men in the galaxy. And his name was Bob. And I like literally couldn't get over it. So regardless, Tobert is, has invited her, invited Mabel for a stakeout. And the place has a dress code. Mm -hmm. And so, but like Charles and Oliver are like, this is a date. Yeah. Like you should just know that it's a date. So she gets there and he's like, well, I thought it might be Jonathan, the like suspect. And he's doing this like cabaret. Like that wasn't really a cabaret. It was more like a loungy song if, set. If you ask Countess Luann, it would be a cabaret. I'm not asking Countess <laughs> Luann. I don't think it's a cabaret. <laughs> no. No, I don't. Am I supposed to like Countess Luann? What is she no, from? No, she's, um, from the original Housewives of New York City. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. It all falls apart immediately, and she's like, uh, how did you think it was Howard's sweet boyfriend? There's, like, no way. And also, they suspected him last season, I feel like. Or yeah. we, we did, at yeah. least. Mm -hmm. And so he basically was like, well, I thought it might be him, and then it turned out that, like, no. And she's like, so you called to meet me here for, like, a suspect that's not a suspect? And he goes, well, yeah, but now I'm on a date with, like, you. And she's like, fuck so she ends up going on the date she drinks a As, uh, sorry go ahead she drinks a mezcal old-fashioned which sounds 
amazing. I just think it's rich that she's just like, <sighs> like, you're looking at Jesse Williams, man. He weirdly kind of gives me an ick a little bit. I don't know what it is about him. Okay. But there's just something where I'm just like, no. His face is a scotch too round for me. Yeah. But I also kind of, because so we talked about it out there. There's two reasons why he kind of gives me an ick. One of them is because I know how he, even though I was no longer watching Grey's Anatomy at that point, and I've never reached an episode that he was in, mm -hmm. I know how he treated April, and I am not into it. Who even is April? Uh, the only, I, I can never remember her name, the only other thing I know her from is Everwood, and she had a big crush on Chris Pratt's character. Okay. Um, whose name was Bright. What are we doing, guys? It was like really like <laughs> was that his last name at nope. least? Nope. What are we doing? Really crunchy Colorado doctor family kind of. Ah! Yeah. Uh. Um Emily Van Camp played his sister on that oh, show. Okay. It was a it's a it was a pretty good show. I liked it. It was okay. like kind of schmalty, but I I really liked it. Yeah. That's the only thing I know her from. Okay. Besides and it's I think she not on Army Wives, but she was on one of those other um I, one of those like southern Netflix shows where it's like a bunch of like moms or wives or something. They like hang out. It's like vaguely Christian, but like okay. not overt. I don't remember what it's called. Virgin River. No, but sort of. Steel Magnolias. No, Sweet Magnolias. Maybe that one. Okay. Either way, so it's that. That kind of gives me the <laughs> Everyone is screaming at us. I know. <laughs> the episode so basically it's like that kind of gives me the ick for him and then also when we talked about it out there he did a play on broadway a couple of years ago where he got fully nude and so there was then cell phone footage of his Peen. big penis and he got really like butthurt about it because it's like a bit of art and i was just like god come on yeah like, which i mean like being filmed without your consent absolutely like and they make a point to be like of course you cannot have your cell phone out yeah. so that part yeah but also at the same time sir congratulations yeah like, <laughs> it, <laughs> like why are you weird about that it's very that like chandler thing from friends where he's like oh no all my 50s don't fit in my wallet yeah. and my penis is too big <laughs> and it's like sorry dude like yeah um so anyway they end up going on this, they, they like end up staying and having a date and it's like going pretty well. Um, although she's being a little withholding with information, but that seems yeah. like a Mabel special. Um, and so, uh, basically then after Jonathan's set is over, he meets up with some guy and gives him an envelope full of something. Mm -hmm. I just like, they're reaching your honor. They're way reaching. And also. If anything, I'm more suspicious of Tobert now than ever. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because, because when she when she showed him the murder board, yeah. I was like, you're dumb, dumb. It's way... It's, no, yeah. no. So the other thing, too, is that obviously Jonathan is, like, buying Howard an engagement ring or something. Probably. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he said it was... Like, I guess Tobert said he was some sort of, like, pill guy. You just get it all type of doctor. Yeah. It's just, it just, like, will buy you a script for, or, like, give you a script for, like, for whatever money. Yeah. So, either way, I have, I suspect he is either... Script for hire. That's what I was looking yeah. for. He's either, like, got something that he is sort of getting under the counter medication for. Yeah, maybe it's like yeah. an ailment that he doesn't want to tell Howard yeah. and it's or something for like maybe he's got nodes. Yeah. And I don't know. <laughs> and I am limited because I have no. Um but regardless, there's no way it's Jonathan. I, I like I'm happy to eat my words later, but I just right now feel I like just, there's no way. For for what? Yeah. Like we haven't I mean, I guess, but like there's no. it just doesn't check for me. No. So then I'm going to move on to Oliver's date with Loretta, which um, starts off and continues to be kind of weird, but also endearing. Yeah. We're like, I, we haven't mentioned it in a while specifically, so it was fun for me that we got back on the dips thing, that mm -hmm. he only eats dips, because she, I guess, has invited him over for dinner. And her amazing it's darling, apartment, it's darling. like... Nancy Myers. Yeah. It's like if Nancy Myers set designed uh like 400 square foot studio apartment. A realistic New York City apartment, yeah. not um what's her name's apartment in You Got Mail. Oh yeah, Kathleen. Ke yes, Kelly. That this I mean, granted, okay. it's probably in a rent control building and it was gifted to her from her mother. I was gonna say, I think that was like an inherited townhouse right. apartment. But brown still. Style apartment. Regard you're, still. you're totally right still. The one I believe the most is, well, I believe when Harry met Sally. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's Nora Ephron. Oh, yeah. My bad. 
So, no, I believe it's complicated. Yes. I believe that. Yeah. Because he's, like, something, like an architect or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. And she owns a very successful, like, bakery mm-hmm. business. So I And I that. love that Meryl Streep's home and every role that she's in, if we see her home, it always looks really cozy oh, so and, like, full and lived in and messy, but, like, in the best kind of way. Oh, I love it so much. And also, Nancy Myers knows how to set direct. Yeah, absolutely. Or, like, she knows a set director who mm-hmm. knows how to, like, and I just feel like she always has such a clear vision. Yeah. Anyway. So <laughs> she makes him pork chops. He goes to take a bite and his tooth falls clean out. Yeah. It's because he doesn't eat food. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It has to be because he doesn't eat food. Yeah. She also makes a comment calling uh, Ben a fucking pig Mm -hmm. at some point, which he sort of nails her about and is like, literally, what? Like, that's so specific. Why did you say that? So they basically end up leaving, going on a ferry ride, like the Staten Island Ferry. Yeah. It looked like. Um, And she tells him, well, they share a 50 year old joint yeah i don't want current pot i don't want to smoke current pot oh i would rather smoke current pot than 70s pot the pot now is a million times no, better that's what i mean like i already don't want to smoke oh. current pot i oh. don't want to smoke a 50 year old joint mm-hmm. but it's, it's not like wine it doesn't age no <laughs> it's an age because at all. like part of the thing about pot is that it has to be it's supposed to be like sticky and oily mm-hmm. and that oil has no that doesn't exist in that anymore no that is just paper you are you are smoking, smoking leaves you're smoking a purple streamer from yeah. studio 54 yeah that's got more cocaine on it than thc that's probably got acid in it <laughs> yeah, if we're like, being honest um that's that shit is lace yeah so they are smoking this joint uh, on the ferry and it turns out that they have like a ton of misconnections because mm-hmm. she tried to audition for like multiple of his plays and one thing happened or the other thing happened or Bernadette Peters gave her water lace with Vicodin and she fell asleep in the waiting room or all this stuff and it turns out he was at the party where she got that joint he rolled that joint in the purple streamer at Studio 54 so that was really fun mm-hmm. I liked that they seemed to have kind of like a storied but separate history like together but apart kind of mm-hmm. what i think i think it's on purpose oh i feel like there is a book just like we got at the very end of that oliver has all of our stuff in it yeah okay i all right. and i think the universe is stepping in and being like nope okay fair enough so that's all fun they talk about the ben thing again mm-hmm. and she's like well before we do that okay she does say about how like they called her Lucky Durkin. Her yes. last name is terrible, by the way. Yeah. Um, growing up, because she won like the school raffle like four, four times. times in a row. Yeah. And then something happened, but then this thing happened, and then she wasn't lucky anymore. And he was like, Well, what was the thing that happened? And she just didn't answer. Yeah. She just kind of like smokily like looked off to yeah. the side. And then she realized that they were like coming up on the bridge or whatever. Okay. So I have two things to say. The first thing is that it's it's a little strange to bring in Meryl Streep and not have her be the villain. Right. The other thing, though, is... She's also a- dripping in red. She was in yeah. all red this episode. The other thing, though, is I'm still hanging on to that thing from, like, episode one or two, where whichever one of them was like, it can't really be a woman again. Yeah. So I'm still kind of hanging on to that, which is why Tobert is my new... Or, like, he's... They're neck and neck for mm-hmm. me. Um... The only thing I'll give it in Loretta's favor is that it's not another of Charles's girlfriends. Right. That would definitely be too much. Yeah. Other than that, the date ends well. They end up sleeping together. And then she goes to run a bath. And he goes over to her bookshelf and finds, like, a picture of Ben Mm -hmm. first. And then he finds, like, a whole ass scrapbook just full of newspaper clippings and, like, red carpet footage. And like all or footage, like you know, photographs and all kinds of stuff of just Ben mm-hmm. everywhere. Which to me, I'm very curious if it's like obsession or like tracking him somehow. I mean, it it is a level of stalking, so, so, sort of, or like even just like a parasocial thing, I guess. But then there was the clipping where it said you know that he was going to audition for broadway yeah and so it's like did she also insert herself Mm -hmm. in there interesting Mm -hmm. so 
yeah, in that case, you're potentially right. Maybe she has one a book for like Oliver as well, and mm-hmm. she's just been trying to cross paths with him this whole time. So that's where we kind of leave it. Yeah. After that. Um, okay, which brings us to Charles. So between Charles and Loretta, we get two different kind of views of this fight that Loretta and Ben had before the show opened. Mm-hmm. But it seemed to be on set, not backstage. Um, I mean, it's if the curtain is closed, it's still backstage. Okay. It was on set dressing. Yeah, so they were like in the tower or the right, lighthouse. Right. But still technically so it, I mean, it could technically be in the wings, but to me it looked like it was still on stage, but it was before curtain. So was up. that is still considered backstage. Yes. Okay. Regardless, um it it looked almost like they because one of them said they were rehearsing. Loretta said they were rehearsing. Yes, when Charles asked what was going yes. on. Yes. Um, she said no. we were rehearsing and, and oh no, Ben said we were rehearsing yes. and she said he attacked me. Yes. And so then Ben called him like a fuckwad or something and he just hauled off and punched him. So that's mm-hmm. the mark he had to get covered up. Yeah. Um, which I just thought was interesting. I'm very curious why, like what was actually occurring. Cause I don't think we've seen the last of that interaction. Mm-mm. Um, and then basically Charles is still having like a real time of it with joy. She, okay, I don't know what she is doing with these fish. So <laughs> I learned I learned a lot about fish in um, my last relationship because my ex-boyfriend really got into fish for some reason. <laughs> during, so, sorry, during COVID? Yeah. So like he got an aquarium because he's always wanted an aquarium. So he got one. Did he put that in your apartment? No, it was, no, it was in his apartment. Okay. Um, no, it would never I was like <laughs> no. Rachel. No, this is opening a new facet no, of that no. relationship. <laughs> no, no, no. And so everyone thinks that like owning fish is like so easy. They they are hard. Yeah, like two died on the way home. You know, from mm-hmm. the pet store to the apartment because of shock. Yep, and you can't just take a fish out and put it into a glass a, a glass full of water because it will shock. The fish, the water will shock the fish. Unless you've taken the water out of the aquarium, which I don't know if she did. Regardless. I don't know. That's it. That setup seems like Guatamano Bay at, the, yes. at their house. I was going to say two things, one of which kind of ties into last week's Gilmore Girls that came out, which is it's just a fish. So I don't super care. Like that was just a goldfish. But it does seem inhumane. Yeah, they to, don't know. To put a goldfish that size in a cup that size. Yeah. And. If you have a fish that size, you don't put it in with the little ones because then they will bully the smaller ones and they eat it. Also, goldfish are like, they're like known for cannibalizing themselves. Yeah. And it's just, and then she's got too much shit in there and she's just throwing water in there and it's just all very stressful. She also is like treating them like they're mammals. Like she's like, I've told you what, and I was like, ma'am, that is a fish that they do interact with you. They do have personalities. Okay, I will you tell can't you that. behavior modify them. No, you can't. No. Discipline? No, you can't. But there will be some that will be like, will like flirt with you and stuff. Well, and sure. come up and be but like, she literally I'm a little said, fish against the, the thing and I'm going to talk to you. She literally said, I'm putting you in solitary confinement. I've, I know. Guantanamo I've told Bay. you. I've told President you before. President McKinley. <laughs> POTUS had to go to Guantanamo Bay. No one Guantanamo cares about. Guantanamo Bay. I can't talk today. Nobody cares about President McKinley. No, I know. Um. I care about that fish. Mm. Also, the light changing just I it's how a lot. are they all alive still? No, it's a lot. I don't And understand. she's like when Mabel and Oliver come to his door, she's like there's just like glass smashing sounds. Yeah. Because she's smashing sea glass for the fish. I no, none of that none of that hangs together. No. Um anyway, Saz comes back, Jane Lynch, to like to hang out. Love Jane Lynch, but like with Jay and Lynch and Andrea Martin's characters both in the scene together, I I wanted to kill myself. It was really a lot. Like too, you know, when Jay and Lynch much. was at the door, I was like, "Oh, Kristen's gonna hate this." Too much, way too much. But basically, Charles ends up interrogating Joy, asking about the lipstick and like, you know, what happened, what's going on. This lipstick was used to write a nasty message, like right before he died, like right either right before or after he died. Um, 
And I thought he kind of went about it in the best way he could. Yeah. But she got really upset. And so she decided to go taste wedding cakes alone while Saz helped Charles kind of work through some of his stuff. And it turns out he's afraid of joy, like the woman and the vibe. He also has obvious low self-esteem issues. Yeah, of course. And because he was like, she's looked at me for 30 years and looked at my pores and looked at my skin. And how could she want me? Yeah. I'm just like, oh, poor Charles. I just also I have such a soft spot for Steve Martin. I yeah. just I like him so much. Um. And so basically that was the consensus is that he he just sort of has to like realize that he's like worth it and he can have it because also I think he's been alone for so long yeah that he's just also like used to it and yeah. it's like again again to the back to the fish it's a big shock to his system mm-hmm. being in this like new environment I don't know aren't there like mature people that just want to have separate apartments and hang out sometimes but then they just go back to their separate apartments she moved right the fuck in. She really did. I was like, I don't think. No. Like, do you not have an established space, Joy, that you, I mean, granted, if I saw my boyfriend's apartment at the Arconia yeah. and she is a makeup artist still, I'm, you know, she's not rolling in it. So. It, well, literally, though, we were watching this movie or this episode and it was to the point where we were in Meryl Streep's apartment and I was like, I would live Babe, there. do you mind if we, I don't, I was like, I don't want to get divorced, but can we live in different cities? Cause I will go find that apartment. No, and I'm currently trying to manifest yeah. that. So <laughs> like, that's what right I want. Now. That's what I want. It's, and as we talked about it, uh, last week, last episode, I think we were talking about square footage. I would live in 460 square feet for that apartment. For that apartment, yeah. Yeah, if it, if it got to look like that, and I would even deal with the Murphy bed, yeah. as long as I had my little nook and all of that beautiful, oh, the, the sage green cabinetry. so beautiful. I can't. So anyway, Joy comes back with a bunch of cake samples. They were just mini cakes. Yeah, they are. I thought with samples, you just get like, ha- like it slices. Did, I mean, it depends on like a nice New York City wedding cake bakery. I, they, yeah. It was like double stacked. Yeah, it was like, yeah. It's so that you can put a filling in there and so you can taste it with the filling. Yeah. Did she have to pay for that? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to pay for taste. Oh, all right. It yeah. d- I mean it depends on if it's we like gotta hook up, so wrapped <laughs> up in the in the cost of your cake, but then I think you have to like decide you're getting it there before you do the tasting. Uh, but okay. yes. All right. Ours was not like that because we our cake was like included with the venue. But. And one my family's best friend yeah. is a cake lady, yeah. so so, um, anyway, she's, like, still pretty mad, and even though he, like, it, he tries to explain, he's so bad at explaining. He really is, and, like, I get where she's coming from. Yeah, 100%, but, but also it's, like, you know this man. You yeah. know that he is, like, he's really jumpy yeah. with stuff like this, and so the fact that he's, like, I figured it out. I'm afraid of joy and joy, but yeah. now I want both. Yeah. And so, and, and she was just, like, do you hear yourself right now? I'm out of here. Yeah, the things she said, I was very, for me, it was very footage not found. Yeah. She, well, she was like, you're- I keep trying to have an open dialogue with you. When well, you steamrolled your way in this whole situation. Yeah, and I, if you knew your mans, yeah. when he was having his episode and yeah. proposed to you, wouldn't you be like, babe, where did you where did you go? She ba- He basically admitted that he didn't propose on purpose, yeah. that it was like an accident. And she was like, do you still want to get married? And he- didn't say yes, but he was like, sure. Well, yeah, he's like, like, he said, I do. Yeah. And he said it twice. Yeah. So it's like, that's always the whole like, I knew, whatever. So I thought it was really weird. And she also, she called him like selfish and egotistical. And I'm sort of like, do you think you're talking to Oliver? <laughs> like, well, I mean, he is not, a little, not selfish, he's a but... little egocentric when it comes to the Brazo stuff. Cause like, remember but... when at the table read, he was like, I'm just, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Yeah. Yes, I am Brazos, whatever. So, but I mean, that but is I think, his livelihood. I also think interpersonally, he's not. No, but I could see that, like, he is probably a little bit more self-centered in that this is my space, this is what I like, and sure. all that stuff. But yeah, then but she brought but, all her goddamn fish. I know. Like, she moved in. I know. So it's like, but you claim that you've tried to do this with him for 30 years so that's 30 years for you to figure out like it's just not that's not how he operates yeah Yeah. so very weird so and then you have to decide like if you want to love this person you might have to live like separately from them yeah so i don't know i just super weird because if it's about companionship especially at their age then it's like okay just go on dates and kiss sometimes and then like throw down when he can get it up also the like his joy and nymphomaniac thing 
was really apparently she is riding him like multiple times a day. Yeah. Which I'm like, how that that man can't get it up. What do we do? <laughs> like Charles can't get it up. I don't know. I think that I don't know. She I feel like she might lace his water with like Viagra or something. I think she's lacing a lot with a lot. Yeah. Anyway. That's basically it for this episode. I think for me right now, Loretta and Tobert are neck and neck. Mm -hmm. Suspicion wise. I still think, I still think Loretta, that's, she's my number one. Yeah. But I'm not loving Tobert. Yeah. So good episode though. And. Yeah. You keep Loretta. I know. I'm so sorry. No, I like it. Uh, (laughs) uh, Loretta very pointedly says that he, that Ben was awful to his kind hearted brother, Dickie. That's right. So I think that he's kind of in there as well. We can't. Dickie? Yeah. We can't count him out. Maybe, because then in that case, I think it's like a Loretta and Dickie. Yes. I, I think that she probably seduced Dickie okay. too. So. All right. Mm-hmm. But I think she is still my number one. Okay. Fair enough. So, yeah, um, we will check back in next week. We shouldn't be late this week. We should be good on time. So look out for the new episode on either Tuesday or Wednesday morning. Um, and then, yeah, uh, let us know what you think. Like and subscribe. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.